Hello everyone, hope you're doing well, welcome back. Uh, this video is update on our Caspa mining. I want to talk about Trade Ogre and the with Caspa withdrawal issues and then um, my loss on KS3L power supply is out so it's not working. I cannot mine on one of my KS3L, so this is unlucky moment. I've been losing already uh, mining Caspa for three, almost four days. Today is September 12th, so it'll be uh, two, three, four days today by in another five hours. So yeah, here you go. Uh, what can go wrong, right, with this miner? Just the power supply out and now, I'm, uh, now I am just losing this time where uh, our Caspa is still kind of mines a, a little bit, you know, like $140 a day. That's uh, clo after power for me, so that close to around, um, say, you know, a little less than $600, $550 maybe already. And uh, obviously, I order a new power supply, actually, two of them. Swift helping me with the getting that quickly. Um, I ordered one on Ice River, that an uh, IO website, but it's gonna take probably a week or two. Um, and so that I don't want to wait two weeks because that's gonna be even more losing for me. I will have just a spare power supply, and uh, we're gonna claim the uh, warranty probably on that uh, power supply. Uh, to be able to get a replacement of our um, uh, power supply, you know, so because it's the unit is hopefully on a warranty. Anyway, so that's that's what happened. Um, everything was nothing wrong with the board. I opened it up, the cover, everything seems perfect, no smell, nothing weird. It just will not power on. You connect it, turn it on. There is no lights, nothing happening. I measure uh, 12 volts here, doesn't come. So there is no 12 volts even coming to the board. So yeah, PSU is out, guys. That's a bad uh, news for me. Anyway, so I won't be able to mine for probably at least another three, maybe four days. Hopefully I'll get it by Friday, but... Uh, We'll stay uh, tuned and um, unfortunately I'm leaving for one month to Europe today. So that's going to be another issue. I hope my um, son can switch that power supply for me. I already showed him all the process. There is a video uh, Ice River has. I'm going to post the link uh, down below for that. If you anyone has issue with your power supply, how to replace it probably can quickly find that video on YouTube anyway, but I'll post the link. And uh, yeah, that's where we at. That's where I am at actually with the uh, not mining Casp on one of these machines. So yeah, it just right there doing nothing for uh, four days, right? So I can not connect to it. So the first how I noticed because I check daily a few times a day, bam. I can't log in to my, uh, so first of all, there is nothing mine and it won't log in. And I think what happened is the power when supply went out when the uh, wild unit was restarting uh, to the other um, Caspa wallet. So I created a new wallet and the reason for it is because the trade ogre be having issues with Caspa withdrawal. So for the last about seven days I can't withdraw any of my Caspa from here. I was mining to trade over to, to be able to sell right away some of the coins, but then I was sending some to my Caspa wallet, but nothing now available to, uh, so I was able to sell and transfer in USDT, uh, or I could do in, in Bitcoin, BTC, but look on Caspa, how many times I tried, it just failed, failed, failed until uh, 
September 8th. After that, it won't even fail. What happened, and I'll show you guys here if I go and try to withdraw right now. So I click on Caspa, withdraw. Um, doesn't matter if I put 10 Caspa and to my Caspa web or the other T, this is a TB, uh, top bit exchange. It won't go. It just says error wallet on wallet not online. Same message if I change the wallet. Doesn't matter which wallet I'm sending. The issue is here with the even 10 Caspa looks so it's a 50% fee, 5 Caspa fee for 10. Okay, so I'm just giving 50% of a network fee. Come on guys, take it. Boom. Doesn't work. So doesn't matter how much I put, even if I put six um, Caspa here, nothing happening. It's just not gonna go. So um, with that being said, it's just kind of annoying. And the real issue here, <laughs> so originally I was like, was able to send some Caspa to this for an exchange and I made about a hundred dollars on it because I could buy on Trade Ogre I could buy cheaper for like 3.2 cents, right? 3.2, 3.3 and different exchange could sell for uh, 3.6, 3.8 cents. So you could make that difference pretty quickly. However, since you can't send anything, doesn't make any more sense. So the, the price here is a lot lower, about probably 18%, 15 to 18% less because it's at 36. Uh, Sense here, right on the top bit. Uh, where is our top bit? Da, 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 da. I believe it's yeah, it went all the way to f almost 4.3 cents. It's just ridiculous difference. So 36.7 went on the uh, it, it dropped to 41, right? So 4.1, we'll call it 41, and we are at uh, 35. So it's about 0 0.6 cents, even a little more, 0 0.65 cents, 0.64 difference, right? So if you sell a lot of Caspa, that's going to be a huge difference. So even for me, if I try to sell, um, if I try to sell just, uh, let's say, all this Caspa, right? The 85,000, I don't have all available probably, but let's, let's try. So if I, 67,000, let's say, right? So if I'm going to sell that, and I'm gonna say, okay, let's sell it for all 67 for 35. That's 2,300. But if I transfer, if I was able to transfer and sell at 41 right now, that's 2741. 2741 and at 35, 2340. So it's like $400 different right do it again yeah four hundred dollars guys you can just lose on the uh on the sixty seven thousand of caspa so if you have a large amount or hundred thousand you're trying to transfer or more it's gonna be a lot of money you're gonna lose like six hundred so you don't want to do that and i don't know what the uh, real solution here I'm j i just transfer all my uh caspa wallets to the uh, uh i mean uh, mining to caspa wallet directly is really actually cheap i don't want to mine to the um to the caspa wallet right here you could just transfer here uh and basically uh it's very cheap it's it's cost like if i'm gonna send it from here to exchange it's gonna cost like a little bit of caspa i, I forgot it was like few caspas right so it is really easy uh, to use it and I could send to the different exchange if I want uh, Tabbit or Xegex, I don't know how you pronounce that uh, and the prices they're pretty similar at 4.1 cents it went to 4 point almost 3 cents right so they're very similar two of these exchanges there are plenty of more exchange but Trade Ogre I kind of liked it I don't know 
I was able to uh, transfer all transactions to Coinlay, so it worked pretty good for my tax purposes, but now I need to find another exchange and do a lot of changes here just because of that little issue. Could be a big issue uh, if they drop Caspa on Trade Ogre, that would be an issue for everyone who was exchanging or uh, selling Caspa there. So. That's the trade ogre update. It's just kind of unfortunate news uh, for us as far as the mining. Now, as far as the um, Caspa mining after the uh, block reward change, it's, it went a lot lower, especially with this 19 pentahash. It's been almost like 19.8 pentahash. It just goes up and down a lot. Uh, but with the Caspa price being 41, probably 42 cents, uh, 4.1, 4.2 cents, that helps a lot. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's take a look. We uh, I have a little bit drop in the hash rate on all of the network. I don't know what's causing it. I didn't want to restart a lot of my, uh, all my miners just kind of been stable, but maybe I should restart, I don't know, be just a little bit lower, usually I get 198 to 199 giga hash for two of my uh, workers here right so right now current ra hash rate is even higher but 24 hours that's what i'm looking for it's a little bit lower here now let's take a look at solo mining the solo mining being a little lucky for me i got certain blocks in 13 days less than 13 days right no 13 days right let's take a look so when I started uh, right here, it was like seven. So I, I lost one day, but then it's kind of popped out an extra block. And now it's one, two, three, four, five, six days. So I'm totally mining 13 days, 13 blocks, basically block a day on two KS zeros, which for this week, it brought it up the most efficient for me it's like i mine most caspa with this uh, solo mining but that's just lucky week i can't tell what's gonna happen next week but i'm gonna keep trying probably give it another week see how it goes usually you get a little bit lucky you know beginner luck so probably that's what it is <laughs> i don't know i was trying to do solo before for caspa on different pools it it worked for one week and then I would just waste for maybe three, four days, nothing. I couldn't even hit a block. So anyways, that's it, I think, for uh, update. That's where we are with our ROI uh, calculators. So we should have been around today's 9-12, right? 12th of uh, September. We should be around 20 uh, pentahash on the network as of today but uh, a little bit lower now but i guess it just jumps up and back and forth so pretty sure will be a lot higher than that once the uh, miners keep on going on the network you know those ks3m ks3 so um our days on our i will will watch this so that's for my first uh batch and then my second batch actually showing no I can't even ROI with the to date rate so that's that's how bad it is on my KS3L it's gonna be now it pushed even further it's gonna be end of September of next year so it's almost a year now for my first KS3L and my second September 7 so they're pretty close to ROI you know what I'm not sure why oh this balance a lot lower however this is gonna get worse just because I cannot mine on my second one so the second batch what I heard had the bad um, pretty bad um, PSU so there's something was re probably a lot of people have issue with so I guess that's that's what happened with the um, with the KS3L second batch when your PSU out you can't mine anything it's just unlucky moment for me 
and especially like the uh, since the Caspa hash rate going up, the next block reward in 24 days. I'm just losing losing these good days of mining. I'm not very happy, but uh, it is what it is. We'll get the uh, hopefully by end of the week power supply. I'll be given instruction how to replace it to my sound. Hopefully everything goes well and I'll remotely gonna turn it back on. So I'm planning to uh, use remotely all of my, uh, I have access basically from my phone to the action tiles for all of my miners, watch the temperatures outside, inside the mining shed, uh, temperatures on every intake and out for my just miners, other miners, uh, inline pros and everything like that. So on my uh, powers, I can turn any of the ACs on and off or fans on and off. They usually automatically set up by uh, control by the temperature. So nothing much I have to do it, but I can override it if I need to. And obviously I can turn on and off every single uh, miner that's important if you're traveling or going out to be able to monitor and also like hey if you can restart it from your um, and obviously I'm gonna be using my uh, remote desktop so when I log in I can go directly to the miners I can go directly to uh, to the board to the ice river or uh, for just miners there's a similar one like this that you can scan all the, your devices and then if you have the issue look at that if i have reject shares i have to restart this uh, so i'll be doing that um, remotely so basically that's what it is if something wrong with these guys i can just click on it and re reset the miner so it will restart completely and reboot it and refresh because a lot of time you can't even log in uh, to the miner um, if something wrong with this you using the GUI website because it's just something goes wrong and it's just not gonna go in to your case zero or case 3L or any other miners that you're trying to check so you can't sometimes even restart from your GUI if something you know hanging in and then you can re log in I figured that this tool that the uh, ice river provide works a little better that gives you availability uh, to scan your ips find your miner and reset from here restart now if none of this uh, works if i can't if it's just offline completely i can re reboot it i just gonna go and manually restart i'm gonna have the second part i have the access to all of the switches like here for the fans i have the same app on the phone that control every single uh, miner separately individually and I track the power obviously I can just log in to my um, Emporia usage and see how what's the wattage it's using every single device uh, that gonna give me idea like hey if that the wattage dropped something wrong it's probably not mining right um, or like a uh, this case 3L, see I'm running around 2500, 2550, if it's lower, something probably wrong with that, it's not mining, right? So, and I have some uh, sort of, um, if the if the voltage go lower, I can set the settings, I will receive the text message or notification that it's something wrong with my device. So hopefully that will help me to monitor all this, uh, all of these miners uh, remotely so I'll uh, report back I know if I can uh, record any video within this month if not then I'll update you later how did it go how is uh, remotely how stressful it is uh, I've been doing it for uh, last time probably was about six days when I left about for five six days I was able to um, with no problem just to get in and check everything up make sure I can restart any of these miners check the stats and stuff like that so that's it for this video I will see you guys in the next one probably in a month so we'll see you soon thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for the new videos I'll post the updates once I'm come back so we can refresh this 
and kind of see where we are with the hash rates uh, like in uh, months uh, gonna be back by October there right so wow we, we probably gonna be in 30 pentahash I don't think so but possible yeah we'll see how accurate we are we'll put the mark here in yellow highlight and we'll see how close we are with our prediction that's gonna give us the idea how many cusp a day we're mining all right well thank you and see you in the next one